welcome back to Visions. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Pam Rafoy, who is the author of The Fairies of Faith and Hope. Welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mirella. Now, in your book, you've also written quite a bit of poetry. Yes. Um, can you tell us why you incorporated poetry and maybe read a little verse? Of yes. Verses? Well, I just felt, as I said, that the, um, the, the sort of the beauty and the harmony of... of, of Perhaps the lilt of poetry, you know, I, I love the, the lilt and the rhyme of poetry and mm. I, I think that softens things, it gives it something really special yeah. rather than just writing in normal prose. Mm. So I, apart from the ones I wrote for my children, as I say, when the animals got sick or died, when they died and that, I also wrote quite a few through the book so that the fairies use that to mm. teach them about God and about, uh, variety, you know, about love and about perhaps conscience. Um, uh, formula for peace and different ones like this that I've written through the oh. book. And do you find you get a lot of joy out of expressing yourself through poetry and and? Oh writing? yes, I love yeah. it. You feel um, I feel you sort of get absorbed in it yeah. when you're doing it, and you feel the peace and the joy come over you. It's it's a beautiful feeling. It's a nice like creative it. outlet, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's, it's beautiful. I, another I way think, of expressing yourself. Yes, I think so. I think yeah. I think most people, if they you know put their mind to it and do it, they can bring forward some really beautiful stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's hear a little bit of All some right. of your poetry. Well, there's one I'd like to read, and I'll read a little bit after it. Uh, the story of the girls at this point are on the beach in, with their family, their mother's family, as always, on holiday on the beach, actually, um, in Phillip Island. It's uh, oh, nice a spot where I loved and where yeah. they went. This is virtually all happened. Uh, you know, obviously there's the fantasy of the fairies and gnomes, but everywhere I've written and what happened in the book really did actually happen yeah. in their lives. I just condensed it perhaps from about six years to four years to sort of, you know, to sort of get a little bit shorter. Yeah. And um, Amber is asking um, who is God um, in, this, in this thing, uh, in this particular chapter, and the fairies are with her, her own fairies, Wisteria, Wisteria's with her, and all the other sand fairies um, are, are, are on the... Um, are on the beach and it says the music now became more deliberate as the sand fairies hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of them in their glorious shades of yellows and golds swayed their bodies and danced to the rhythm moving their hands feet and body as one Hawaiian style Amber turned in her sleep who is God she called who am I echoed the sand fairies who am I echoed the water sprites who am I echoed the seagulls who am I? echoed the air nymphs rushing by. Who am I? the tree gnome echoed. The sand fairy started to sing with the air nymphs and water sprites echoing the last line of each verse in a loud whisper as the fairies sang. I am light, I am soul, I am fire. I am the joy and the peace you desire. I am the essence of wine which you sip all the time. For this is me, this is me. This is me. I am the life of the newborn babe, as in his mother's arms he's laid, and forever in time he will always be mine. For this is me, this is me, this is me. Please keep me close to your heart. From me do not ever depart, for I can guide you through life during sickness and strife. For this is me, this is me, this is me. In the darkness of night I am there, always with love and with care. For my love you are mine, in your thoughts let me shine. For this is me, this is me, this is me. And once you know you are mine, peace will always be thine. For my love fills your being, it's there for the seeing. For this is me, this is me, this is me. At the top of the mountain I am, as pure as the newly born lamb. In the valleys below you can see me aglow, for this is me, this is me, this is me. Now look up into the sky, in the dreamy blue haze there am I. Then cast your eyes to the ground, for there I am, for I am all around, for this is me. This is me, this is me. It is I who commands it so, that the winds shall shiver and blow from the height of the storm till the peace of the dawn. 
for this is me, this is me, this is me. I am lord of the surf and the sea, and the cry of the gulls, that's me, in the flow of the tide, even there I abide, for this is me, this is me, this is me. Who am I? I am he, whose power could it be, but that eternal love from the heavens above, for this is me, this is me, this is me. And once you know you are mine, peace will always be thine. For my love fills your being, it's there for the seeing. For this is me, this is me, this is me. The music ceased and the fairies stopped dancing. Amber and Tammy fell into a deep blissful sleep. When will the humans, as they called them, of this world finally learn, a tree gnome asked, when will they learn the truth about life, their divine right to love each other, regardless of race and religion, to know they each are a child of the divine light? Hopefully one day, was Wisty's sad reply, at the house of our charges we watch the television news, all the things that are happening around the world. It's so hard to believe how some humans treat each other. Wisty paused and took a deep breath. Some humans even take the lives of other humans. A total silence swept the sands and echoed through the ether as these glorious little sand fairies stood stunned, aghast. Finally, the silence broke. Take each other's lives, was the hushed whisper. But life is God-given. How could they? They do many things simply because our dear humans do not understand the meaning of life. Wisty felt very saddened. The sand fairies now dispersed, a hushed murmuring. Take each other's lives, take each other's lives could be heard as they hurried away. Wow. That's beautiful. I think it just reflects what everybody wants, and that's love and peace. Every human being yes, wants that. that's correct. We're about to go to a break now. Okay. You're watching Vision. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> 